Well, a little bit of a uh, a review for the t test I get, I guess. Uh, over uh, Christmas break, I had the opportunity to go over to uh, or down to Nashville for a couple days, and uh, I always like to go on a run and take my camera. And uh, Nashville is the capital of Tennessee, so uh, there was some uh, pretty good historical stuff. Uh, really, just a couple blocks from uh, the hotel we were staying at. Uh, Nashville, interesting for all you. Uh, AT&T fans, uh, the largest building in Nashville is the AT&T building. So uh, if you are an AT&T uh, client, you versus wherever, this is where your uh, your money's going to. Beautiful building, by the way. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, the capital of Tennessee. Very uh, similar to the uh, the one we looked at earlier in the year uh, in Montgomery, the capital of Alabama. is built on a hill, just like the one in uh, in Alabama and Montgomery. And it's this one's happened to overlook the uh, Cumberland River. You gotta remember back uh, when this was built, 1840s, 1850-ish. Uh, rivers were the major uh, roads of transportation, and most uh, communities, cities, if you will, were uh, were built along uh, waterways. Uh, you can see the columns here. These are uh, ionic columns. These are actually are fluted. You can see the scroll work, and that's a uh, indication of an ionic column. As you uh, walked around the the grounds of the uh, of the Capitol, they had several statues to uh, famous Tennesseans. And lo and behold, the first one I came up against was uh, Alvin York, and uh, probably the most famous uh, hero of World War One. And he was a native Tennessean. And they have a, a statue that is uh, dedicated to him. There's another statue of uh, Andrew Johnson. And Andrew Johnson was the uh, governor of Tennessee. Uh, he took over the military governorship of Tennessee during the uh, Civil War. Nashville was captured fairly early after uh, Tennessee seceded from the Union. And uh, he became the military governor. And the uh, it's quite interesting. Some of the old pictures showing uh, the Capitol. Uh, it was really a uh, oh I, want, I don't know if I want to call it a fort, but it was a stronghold of the Union forces. Uh, Andrew Johnson later became the uh, Abraham Lincoln's vice president in uh, 1864, and then after Lincoln's assassination, he became the 17th president of the United States. And uh, you know he had a tough act to follow. And uh, you remember. Uh, looking at his tenure when you guys did your uh, pre-Civil War uh, or up to the Civil War history back in middle school. They had a, another picture there and it's always interesting these, these capital always have some type of survey marker and uh, this one was just a couple of well actually a little bench if you will of uh, of granite and it's uh looks like about 1933 this was uh, put in there. Uh, one thing down south, you always uh, see these United Daughters of, of the Confederacy. And uh, they uh, do have a, a monument uh, near the Capitol there also. And uh, it's not too unusual as you, as you go through the south to uh, to see this. Uh, I guess it's a, a, you know, an organization to, uh, at least at the time, uh, to remember the, uh, the soldiers of the Confederacy. Uh, Andrew Jackson. As you can see, we talked about him with the uh, the Battle of uh, 1812. He's probably the most famous figure out of there, the Battle of, uh, or I should say the War of 1812 with the Battle of New Orleans. And he later on became, uh, Old Hickory later became uh, President of the United States also. And there's a very large uh, monument to him. Uh, these buildings in the background here, they're all government buildings for the state of Tennessee. Uh, it was interesting, here's the uh, burial place or uh, James Knox, Knox Polk. He was the 11th president of the United States about 1845. And uh, this is his uh, final resting place on the grounds of the uh, of the Capitol. They have an interesting part overlooking the Capitol called Centennial Court. And this is a uh, monument to the uh, to the uh, soldiers in World War II. Uh, interesting, you go down south, they uh, definitely uh, you know, every place I've been, they, they do pay a lot of homage to uh, to soldiers who have served our uh, our country. Uh, usually when I go on a run, I always, or my wife and I will go on a run, I always take a camera with me. 
and uh, you never know what you're going to run into. But I thought this one was pretty unique, as that is a black granite globe. And uh, the state of Tennessee is here, and it shows where all the soldiers fought uh, in World War II. This is a, uh, a view overlooking the Centennial Park, and that's the Capitol in the background. And uh, this is all green space here. And it's kind of interesting. There's actually a timeline on either side in black granite of the state of Tennessee going all the way back to the geological formations. So it's kind of interesting. One thing I was interested in, the state of Tennessee has three stars in a circle. And this is uh, embedded in the, in the walkway around here. And it was interesting to know, I was wondering what those for, so I did some research, and it was the three geographical areas of Tennessee, uh, going from west to east. Uh, you, you got, you know, Memphis, you know, they talked about the basin area, then the range and basin mill Tennessee, and then you get into more mountainous areas in east Tennessee. And so these three stars represent those geo, uh, geologic areas of uh of Tennessee and then they're all encompassed by a circle meaning they're all together so that was kind of kind of interesting on there so there's our uh, our brief look of, uh, of the uh, capital of Tennessee in Nashville